kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think we're on the run. We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think old England's done? Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Morning, Miss Fortescue. Can we have the usual, please? Two cups of coffee and some rich tea biscuits. The ration's been cut again. I'm afraid I can only let you have one and a half biscuits each. Still, oh. I'll let you have an extra lump of sugar to make up for. Oh, how very kind of you. Thank you so much. It is nice of you. We do our best to keep up morale. Yes, I'm sure you do. Thank you so much. <laughs> I look forward to my morning coffee, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. A little oasis in the turmoil of strife. Yes. <laughs> When you look round a typically English setting like this, you know it's hard to believe there's a, there's a war on, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> well, sir, did, you, uh, did you really have to bring that great big gun with you? <laughs> a great big gun? Yeah. You talk like a Nancy boy. <laughs> that 38 has never left my sight, day or night, since the moment it was issued. I take it with me everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, how very inconvenient. I mean, <laughs> doesn't it get a bit wet sometimes when you take a bath? <laughs> That's just a sort of flippant remark I'd expect from you, Wilson. <laughs> Laugh the other side of your face if a Nazi paratrooper came through that door. What's going on? <laughs> what would you do then? Say, oh, I must go back to the bank for my rifle. Morning, all. Morning. Morning. Have, you, uh, have you seen young Charlie? Who's young Charlie? The fellow that helps me, you know. Uh, I arranged for meeting here. No, we haven't seen anybody, have we, sir? No, no. Oh. Here, uh, cut him out. Hmm? Will you do me a favour? What is it? Will you nip outside into the street and watch out in case a copper comes by? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some things outside for Miss Fortescue. They're in the car and I want to bring them in. How dare you? Do you expect me, the manager of Martin's Bank, to act as a lookout, tout? Well, please yourself. I'll have to sneak them in the back way, then. Now, look, once and for all, Walker, I want nothing to do with your black market activities. Right. I'll cancel that order of yours for whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me, of course. Oh, no, no, no. no. For my wife. Yes, of course, yes. Medicinal, of course. <laughs> oh, purely medicinal. Yes, I quite understand, sir. Of course I do, yes. Well, here we are. Oh, thank you so much. Two coffees. Oh, lovely. Thank and you. three rich tea biscuits. Good. Thank you so much. Ah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. <clears throat> no, I've, <clears throat> I've no time for this black market stuff, you know. No. I believe in fair shares for all. Yes, I quite agree with you, sir. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Manning. Better get there quickly. Here's your rifle, Uncle oh, Arthur. Come on. Chop, chop. Sharp's word. Quick's the action. Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> What's all this about? I had a phone call from the police. Have they arrested Walker? No, not yet. A Nazi pilot has bailed out and he's hanging from the town hall roof. Come on, quick! What? <laughs> Don't panic, don't panic! <laughs> There's a Nazi parachute dangling from the clock tower of the town hall. Yes, 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 yes. He's dangling, he's dangling. We know where it's going. I'll get my rifle and my bayonet, sir. You don't need your bayonet. Yes, I do when he comes down. They don't like it up. Go away, go away, go away. Mind your back, please. I decided to risk it. Where's your rifle? In, in, uh, in the car, why? Well, go and get it. We've got to go around to the town hall. What do you want to do? Shoot them here? Never mind that. Just do it yourself. That's right. Come on. Well, pick Fraser up on the way. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Stand back now. Come on, stand back. Come on, stand back. Do, do as you're told. Come on, get them back. Come on, get them back here. Get them back. Come on. Come on now, stand back. Come on now, stand back. Do as you're told. Now, come on. Look, will you stand back? This isn't a sideshow. Look, will you stand back? There's nothing to see. What are you making all this fuss about? Is only a, a German hanging from a parachute? <laughs> Hey, Fred! Hey, Fred! Will you stand back? If them ropes break, he can fall.
fall straight down on top of us. Could be a very nasty mess. Them ropes won't break. They make very strong ropes, them Germans do. They make a lot of other things too, them Germans. They make uh, binoculars and cameras and telescopes and bicycles, air guns, uh, sewing machine. They make a very good sewing machine, them Germans. <laughs> oh, shut up, you silly old fool. Excuse me, thank you very much. Can I get through here, please? Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Here come our brave lads. Give them a cheer. Yay! 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 Excuse me. Just a minute. Who do you think you're shoving, Napoleon? This is an ARP matter and I'm in charge. I have no wish to discuss anything with you at any time. Look, I've got a position of authority in this town and I will not have it undermined. How dare you shove me up in front of the townspeople? This white helmet means something, you know. We know it does. It means you're very boring. Now get out of the way. <laughs> I said, look, he's dangling. How are we going to undangle him? Yes, he's right. How are we going to get him down, sir? We'll think of something. I don't think he's in any position to do as much trouble, sir. Oh, don't you believe it, Fraser? A wounded jackal is most dangerous when he's cornered. Come on, men. <laughs> Captain Mannering, he's got no respect for my white helmet whatsoever. Well, Jim Germans make very good helmets, you know. Very good boots, too. <sighs> Wait for me! Oh, thank goodness you've come, Captain Mannering. You've got to get it down. Well, we'll do our best, Mr. Gordon. As town clerk, I am responsible for the town hall, and I cannot have a German pilot dangling from the roof. I mean, what will the town council say? Right. Now, uh, how do we get up to the clock tower? I'll show you. Thank you. Oh, oh. Right, this way, then. That's the way up to the clock tower. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. But it's not very safe. It, oh. Why is that? Do you not remember, Captain Mannering? The staircase was burned down by a fire bomb last year. Well, they've rigged up some uh, scaffolding and some builders' ladders up there, sir, but the town clerk's quite right. It doesn't look at all safe to me. Uh, where you been, Mr. Godfrey? Oh, I was in Timothy White's when I heard the commotion. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have you any assistance, sir? I doubt it, Godfrey. What you got there, Mr. Godfrey? Oh, this is my sister Dolly's a rubber air cushion. I took it to be mended. Well, then, couldn't they wrap it up for you in the shop? No. Well, that's a disgrace. They shouldn't be walking about the town with that like that, oh, without oh, being wrapped well, they, up. They don't wrap things these days. It must be the war, you know. Jones, so Jones. many of our things have gone yeah. by the board. Yes, I know that. You were quite right. They could have put a bit of paper around it, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute disgrace. Look at Jones. that. They could have put some paper around that, couldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> We thought they'd have wrapped it Mr. up. Mr. Mannering, oh. may I remind you that there's a German dangling from the town hall roof? I'm well aware of that, Mr. Town Clerk, and we're going up that letter whether it's safe or not. All right. Am right. I bother to go up at all? What do you mean? Well, you could put Mr. Godfrey's rubber ring at the end at the bottom of the tower, and it might break his fall. <laughs> <laughs> Any more remarks like that, and you'll leave the town hall. <laughs> Peter, I'd like to volunteer to shin up that ladder. Let me shin up that ladder, sir. See, I think, it, I think really, you know, that uh, Frank ought to go up there first. After all, he is the youngest. Oh, no. No, that's not fair, Uncle Arthur. Hmm? You know, I can't stand heights. I'm a martyr to vertigo. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... <laughs> Frank, I will not let you sacrifice yourself. What are you doing? Hello, Frank! Hello, Frank! Hello, Frank! Hello, Frank! Hello, Frank! Hello, Frank! All right, I can hear you, I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm coming now, you. Peter! Yeah, it's all right, all right, it's all right. Now, Peter, my dear! Oh, Peter, Peter! It's no good trying to apologise. <laughs> Andy Hop, Andy Hop, put your hands up. Now, <laughs> yes, I know. I'll get you, I'll get you out of here, don't worry. Now, you stay there, don't you move, we'll get you out of it. Smell, smell! No worry about the smell, it's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Down the steps here. He's still here now, sir. Now, what are we going to do? Well, you cover him and I'll parley with him. Right, sir. Right, right. sir. Now, <laughs> you pay attention. My captain is going to parley you. Further resistance is useless. <laughs> In the name of the king, I demand that you surrender. Oh, dear. It's not easy, is it, sir? <laughs> How is he? Well, if this is an example of a cracked Luftwaffe pilot, I don't think much of him. It's like something the cat dragged in. <laughs> not at all smart, not like our, our own brave RAF boys. No, no. And I wonder how you'd feel if you were dangling 150 feet up above the ground. <laughs> don't let's have any of that sort of talk, Wilson. <laughs> Man's in a blue funk, you can see that. Pull yourself together! 
Taylor. He can't live for staying. Doesn't even understand English, you see. What, what's German for pull yourself together? I have no idea, sir. Gosh, sure. The man's in a terrible state. Anyway, I know he can't if help feel sorry for him. No, I mean, he looks awful. Well, how are we going to get him in, sir? Hey, listen, what we need is a sort of stick or a pole or something to... Yeah. Hang on, I've got an idea, Captain Mannering. If we take that minute hand off that clock, we might be able to get him. That should do the trick. That's a great idea, Walker. Yes, go on. See if you can reach it. Well, hold it, Jonesy. Give him a hand, Jonesy. Yeah. Okay, just a minute, just a minute, sir, just a minute. This is vandalism. You can't desecrate the town hall clock just like that. Why not? It doesn't work. <laughs> It's stopped at ten past three since 1939. Oh, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget, it's a German clock. What's that? Uh, look, see, on the dial, Hermann Holst, Munich. That settles it. Get that hand off at once. <laughs> that used to be very pretty that day. I used to play nursery rhymes every quarter of an hour. Mm. And figures used to come out and come round. That was very good, that was. Typical uh, German. That's no good. I can't reach it. Oh. OK, where, where have you been then, Frank? Hmm? Sorry, Uncle Arthur. I had to come up slowly because the ladders wobbled. Oh, I see, yes, yes, yes. Is he still out there? Yes, he is, yes, yes. Is he fighting you, Mr. Mannering? <laughs> of course, he's not fighting me, you stupid boy. <laughs> There's nothing I'll be able to bring him in with. It's no good. I, I, just, I just can't reach it. Well, oh, watch it, you're dry. We've been fun. Oh, steady, 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 steady. I'm not a giraffe, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, if only he could swing himself. Ah, yes, that's a good idea. Swing yourself in here. Swing. What's the German for swing? I've really no idea, sir. You're not contributing very much to this operation, are you? Possibly not. Sorry. I'll try and take an interest. Sorry, yeah. Hey, Fritz, swing. S yeah, swing, you know, up to jar. What's a joke? <laughs> Try him with a bit of in the mood, Joe. He might understand that. Right. Oh, mister, what you call it, what you're doing tonight? <laughs> Hope you're in the mood because I'm feeling all right. Swing! 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 Oh, he's, he's crying, Mr. Man. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised after that terrible row. <laughs> oh, he's an idiot, obviously. He doesn't seem to understand anything at all. Why don't we try something, you know, classical? Uh, perhaps something in German. Good idea. What about Offenbach's The Tales of Hoff? This is right, the Bach and Roll. It's a lovely swing. Yeah, just, a bit, just a bit. I'm not hearing my platoon singing German songs. Oh, but sir, don't forget, we've got to get the man in somehow. Ready? All to go together. La, 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 la. That's not getting us anywhere at all. Mr. Pool from somewhere. I've got a pole here, Mr. Manrin. Ah, oh, didn't get it. No, don't take that out. out. No, oh, don't no. you. It's coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all broken. <laughs> Are they going to get down now? I don't know, and I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, they can stay up there forever and starve, <laughs> ruining my letters. I don't think they meant to. <laughs> don't think they meant to. Do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going out in the street, and I'm going to give Manor a piece of my mind. He won't hear you up there. Oh, yes, he will, because I'm, I'm going to shout loud. And when I want to shout loud, I can shout very loud indeed! <laughs> Don't say anything you'll regret afterwards. <laughs> you silly old fool! We'll never get down now! We're marooned! Marooned! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Manning, I want to say how sorry I am, and, and to make up for it, I'm going to do everything you tell me to do, no matter how dangerous it is. And I, I'll make any sacrifice in order to regurgitate myself. <laughs> Well, we'll work out a way of getting down there later. Yes. In the meantime, let's get that German in. I'm sick of him hanging out there, whining. Very, very good, sir. Right, sir. I've had enough of you, Mannering. I hope you stay up there forever so I can enjoy this war in peace. Because I do enjoy this war. In fact, I've never enjoyed anything so much in all my life as being Chief Warden. I love it. And you, you always spoil it. He'll never be able to hear you from up there. You need a megaphone. 
If Germans make very good megaphones, <laughs> loudspeakers, and radios, and gramophones, they make a very good gramophone, them Germans. Oh, shut up, you silly old fool. How dare you speak to that old gentleman like that? You're a very common, rude, and nasty fellow. Well, don't you start. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Oh, look, Your Reverence, he hasn't fallen yet. We're not too late. We haven't missed anything. <laughs> no, oh, Pass out, Paul! Pass out! Hold on, hold on, cut money. You'll break the man's leg. Oh, I can't help that. He shouldn't have come here in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> he won't get him. Langsam! Langsam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a minute, sir. You'll never get him in like this. You'll have to release him from the parachute. Well, see? how do we do that? I know, Mr. Manley. Look, you see that buckle there? Yeah. So you give it a quarter turn to the left, then you hit it. Huh? I saw him do it in a film. One of our aircraft is missing. Googie with us in that. Googie with us! All right, all right, never mind. And Mr. Speaker, I should like to turn the German to the left and punch him, sir. <laughs> let me do it, let me do it, sir. Oh, get on with it. Right, sir, right, sir. Hello, Dan. Oh, 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 I don't. Ah! It won't open, sir. <laughs> Try it again, Jonesy. Yeah, right. Oh, nine! You've got to be cruel to be kind. <laughs> oh! Excuse me, sir, you see, a quarter turn to the left, you see, is on British parachutes, you see. They have a left-hand thread on the continent, you see. Oh, typical foreign, yeah. T turn it to the right. Right, turn right, right. Oh, oh nine! Oh, nine! Look, Your Reverence, Jones is it in the German. Where? I can't see. There, right across the gargoyles. <laughs> Thought it the Geneva Convention. No, but it's very near it. <laughs> Here comes some more there, brave lads. Give them a cheer. Hey! What's happening here, Mr. Godfrey? Uh, Captain Manor is marooned on top of the tower. Better think about getting him down. What do you suggest, Mr. Hodges? I'm not going to help you. I refuse to even discuss it with you. I think I know how to get them down, my good man. How are you going to do that, Vicar? By exercising my little skill. Come along, Mr. Yateman. Come and help me carry my paraphernalia. Very well, Your Reverence. Gott sei Dank! Gott sei Dank! Vielen Dank, mein Herr! Vielen Dank! Oh, don't let's have any of those foreign tricks. Go and stand over in the corner yeah, there. On, Give him cover, Joe. Uh, go on, then, Pete. Go on. Now, watch it, watch it. Just because I haven't got a pain, it doesn't make any difference, you know. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to drop this note... Oh, yes. ...over the side. Mm -hmm. I see. You see, it right. won't go straight down, you know. You realise that, don't you? It won't go straight down. It's bound to flutter for miles. Well done, Wilson. Just testing you. Mr. Oh. <laughs> Manry, give it to me. This will do the trick. Oh. <laughs> Bangman! They could have killed me! Look, there's a, there's a message in it. Right. Now I'll send him a message. Could have killed somebody doing that pike. I was only using my initiative. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Hodges is down there, can you see him? Chalking a reply on the pavement. Mm. What did your message say, sir? How are we going to get down? What does his message say? How are you going to get down? <laughs> Madman! What message was in that, Pike? None at all. I was just trying to hit the warden. Good. <laughs> <laughs> God wish that we are not going to get any help from that quarter, so we must use our initiative and, uh, and work out our own salvation. Mm. Captain Madden, yeah. why not have each of us in turn suggest a way of getting down? Then you can pick the best, eh? Well, worth a try, I suppose. Better than nothing. Mr. Manry? Yes? If we could unhook the parachute, one of us could float down. The <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaks up. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say... <laughs> what did you say? If we took the parachute... Oh, dear. If we took the... Pulled the parachute in, we could tear it into little strips, and then we could plait it and plait it and plait it, uh -huh. make a long rope, then we could slide down it one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sniggering at, Wilson? Well, we... <laughs> Sounds to me like a bit of a platitude. <laughs> <laughs> Captain uh, Mannering. Yes. I mind the time. 
many, many years ago. <laughs> On the furthest point of the Western Isles, two brave lighthouse keepers were marooned. Their stair had collapsed, and they were cut off. Just like us. Well, they were up there for two long months. <laughs> and in the end, they decided there was only one way to get down. And what was that? To dismantle the lighthouse, brick by brick. <laughs> I don't think that's a very sensible suggestion. Frank. Well, maybe not, but you see, sir, don't forget, they'd been up there for so long that, uh, well, they'd both gone quite mad. <laughs> you hear what I said, Captain Mannering? Mad. Mad? Mad! <laughs> it's your turn now, Wilson. <laughs> well, I can't help remembering a fairy story that my dear old nanny used to tell me. Oh. It's about a, yes, it's about... <laughs> about a beautiful princess who was uh, locked at the top of a high tower and she was rescued by a very handsome prince. And do you know how he did it? I have no idea. Well, he, he, <laughs> he shot an arrow right to the top of the tower and attached to the arrow was a piece of twine and attached to the twine was a piece of thread and attached to the thread was a rope and um, she pulled them all up and the handsome prince was able to climb upstairs and rescue her. There you are. Well, well wasn't that nice? <laughs> I don't think I can take much more of this. <laughs> like a bad dream. <clears throat> Walker. And say something sensible, for heaven's sake. All right, then why don't we use this rope here? What rope? This rope here. We see it's got a weight on the end. Now, if we wind it up and then put it down the trap there and then wind it down, we can climb down it. Well done, Walker. I saw this rope some time ago. I was just wondering which of you was spot it, sir. <laughs> right, wind it up. Come and help him, Pike. Oh, yes, Mr. Man. Oh, I'm in our stiff joke. Yes, yeah, certainly is. Oh, blimey, no wonder there's some sort of break on. Here, Jones, yeah, yeah. he knocked that break off, will you? Oh, yes, right, Mr. Jones. Come on. Righty-ho. Yeah, Give me your hand up here. Come right, on. that'd be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be all right. Right, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
some sensible suggestions of how do we get down there. And they're, they're better, better than the last ones. <laughs> and as for you, Wilson, yours was the stupidest suggestion of them all. Was it really? Look <laughs> 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 that, sir. Good heavens. Arrow, good Lord, what's this? Good heavens, the test of the arrow is a length of silk and thread. The test of the thread is a... <laughs> is a <laughs> line. And the test of the twine is a rope. Well, well, well. Now, isn't that nice? Very clever, Vicar. However, did you think of that? Just an old fairy story my daddy used to tell me. Yes, I've heard you're an expert on fairies. Thank you. 